evening everybody so um day seven and shakes have been good water's been good i've had pretty much the same as what i nearly always have um hot chocolate shake, shake in the morning with amaretto coffee um super lunchtime oh i had a toffee bar actually instead of strawberry and apple um what else what what else and then i have my hot chocolate mint at the end it's quite nice having a toffee bar because i've literally just had strawberry and apple for like forever I'm going to have to move that bloody toy, I think, next time I do this. Get on my... <laughs> I put this on and then I'm like... Oh. Um, so, so, yeah, it was nice to have a... Have a chewy bar instead. Um, <sighs> feeling tired, so I'm hoping this will upload fairly quickly. Um... Watched a program tonight called Three Girls on my BBC about the Rotherham sex exploitation. Wow, what those girls went through! Pretty, pretty disgusting, really. Um, but yeah, very, very thought provoking, um, eye opening as to how people can um, manipulate and exploit girls so young and in such vast quantities really um, so the scandal wasn't just about a few girls although it focuses on the story of three um, immense absolutely immense the amount of people the amount of girls that were affected by it so if you haven't seen it definitely think you should get that on catch up i think it was brilliant um oh it's ridiculous isn't it so Um, knew my boyfriend wasn't going to be home when I finished work, so went for a little wander around the shops. Um, went out to Bradley Stoke, a little wander around Tesco, and a little wander around, where did I go, Boots? Is there Boots out there? I feel like I'm completely imagining that now. Um, but yeah, so I went for a little wander around. Wasn't even really looking at anything. I think it was just one of these wanted to pass the time. So I went to... Just went to have a little wander around. Is it real? Oh, my God, can I stop yawning? Jesus. Um, Couldn't be bothered with town. It's too busy. Um... So yeah, went out to thought I'd have a little drive out to Bradley Steak, wandered around the Tesco, looked at there, got a sort of big ish home department and clothes department in that one. So I had a little wander around there. Um what else did I do? Not a lot really. Came back, spent about an hour with my boyfriend before he buggered off to work. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, to walk it. So, I felt a little bit like, mmm, want to pick it some up. Haven't, but felt a bit like that. Hence why I went and wandered around the shop, probably thinking, weird place to go, a supermarket, to avoid that. Um, but I didn't really look around the food stuff. So, get home and he is in full swing of cooking bacon. Oh, I could have swiped that bacon sandwich off him. I am not going to lie. Um, but 
food's always going to be there. It's not like... <sighs> oh my god. It's not like... Um, other people when they're changing things. So if you're cutting out alcohol, you can just completely avoid it if you want to. Um, if you are needing to cut out drugs from your life, you can just completely avoid it. Food's not something that you can 110% stay away from. So it's something you've got to look, sort of get used to. My boyfriend's not on a diet either, so I can't stop him eating, can I? Or tell him to go and eat outside or anything like that. I think he'd pretty much tell me to off anyway. Um, there is some different bits I want to talk about. I'm not going to do that tonight. Because I do need a... Oh my fucking God. As you can tell, I need a bit of a earlier... Earlier night. Um, so... Swear that's like fucking. Oh, there is a light on. It means the fox might be out there. Oh, he's gonna bloody see me if I get up. I love watching the fox. But we have a problem with a cat coming in the garden. Instead. But our fox is really, really, really. Really wild. There's no no tameness to him at all. But as there's only one light on, I definitely get the impression. the fox or the bloody cat down there oh it's my fox you know i just scared the shit out of bugger so i'm pleased because it's my mr foxy who's just sorry if just like summons everyone to darkness we feed the fox here um sometimes we get two coming into the garden I've had the tumble drive on, so I've managed to steam all the bloody windows up out here. Hence why. <sighs> I can't bloody see. But we also get a ginger cat come into our garden, which is a real ball ache. Because you think the freaking fox is out there. And it goes to trot off, and it ain't. It's the. Um. <laughs> Bloody cat. Also, our garden's really long. Or well, fairly long. And there's not street lights at the back, so we've got a load of sensor lights that we put on so that we can see the fox. Um, but where I've got the lights on in the house, he's seen and heard me. So he's trotted off down the bottom, bless him. Hopefully, he'll come back up and have his munchkins. I don't mind when it's the fox. Um, <coughs> and yeah, I looked out in the garden oh, probably a week ago from upstairs, so obviously they couldn't see me at all. And um, they're actually like running around, jumping off the stones and everything. I was like, oh my God. I literally love watching the fox in the garden. That's so nice. <coughs> I think one of them's got mange. So we have ordered the free mange kit that you can get. So we're waiting for that to come so that we can put it out in the garden for them because one of them's got pretty much <coughs> no food, no food, no fur on his tail. So, um, so yeah. So yeah, like I was going to say, I've got some bits and pieces I want to chat about. I'm not going to do that tonight just because I am tired. As you could tell from all the bloody yawning. So I'm going to get this uploaded and then sleep.
basically, um, and continue on plan. So for now, laters!